All right, so today I want to share with you eight of my favorite websites on the internet. And let me tell you, if you're thinking about buying a reptile or maybe you just recently bought one, you are joining a larger community of reptile enthusiasts. And there is a lot of information out on the internet about the care and the husbandry of reptiles. And I'd say probably the number one place besides these eight that I want to share with you is here on YouTube. And on this channel, I just passed 500 videos. It's pretty amazing that I have that many videos out on YouTube here, but my, my channel is pretty much structured around being like an encyclopedia of information on the care and the husbandry of ball pythons. And I have a, a little bit of feeder rodents and maybe some reticulated pythons, maybe some other animals thrown in, but I'm, I'm pretty much my main focus is ball pythons. And if you're buying any other type of a snake or reptile, there are a lot of YouTube channels out there that specialize in certain reptiles. There's some that just specialize in reticulated pythons, which is kind of interesting. Some even specialize in dwarf and super dwarf retics. And everyone kind of has their own specialty here on YouTube. It's the, I would say this is probably the number one place for a wealth of information about your new reptile. But in addition to that, there are also eight of my favorite websites that I want to share with you. Some of these you definitely need to know. There's some forums out there that you can interact with the reptile community. If you have any questions or any problems, you just post a comment and then people respond and you can interact with a lot of people. There's places where you can buy and sell your reptiles. There's a whole host of different websites that I want to show you today. So let's jump over to the internet and check them out. All right, so the number one website you should definitely know about, no doubt about it, if you're shopping for a reptile, that is Morph Market. Let me tell you, this is probably the number one place. It's, it's almost like... It's almost like eBay for reptiles is pretty amazing. And just in ball pythons, they have a total of over 100,000 snakes that have been listed on Morph Market. It is pretty amazing. And let me tell you, you can get obsessed with Morph Market just looking at all the reptiles. So this is pretty much the home page right here. And if you scroll down a little bit further, you can see all the different categories of all the reptiles that they actually have here on Morph Market. And as a matter of fact, when I first started in ball pythons, uh, they only had, I would say, three or four categories on this, and they kept adding more and more categories, and it seems like the, the earlier ones are at the top. I don't, I'm not sure, this, I don't think it's in alphabetical order, because you see crocodilians down at the bottom. I think it's in order of when they actually listed the certain topics for, for this specific website, which is kind of interesting. So I'd say probably out of all this, ball pythons is the number one most popular with the most animals over here on Morph Park. And that's kind of what I've been obsessed with. Over, You can just spend hours and days and months over here on Morph Market. It is a pretty amazing website. So if you actually go over here and click on ball pythons, it brings you over to this page right here. And this is pretty impressive. If you want a whole entire list of a lot, probably almost all the morphs of ball pythons, they have it right here, all the different morphs. It's pretty impressive. So if you're looking for, you know, that morph that you've heard about and you can't think of the name, you can come over here and check out all this whole list of names. And essentially what it is, is it's all these numbers that are in color here. They're actually the number of animals for sale of that specific morph. It's pretty amazing. And down here is the key. So you have uh, the incomplete dominance gene, you have the normal and the super, the recessives, the yellow is possible het, the orange is het, and the pink is visual. So for example, if, if you come up here to clown, you're looking for a clown, and you're looking for a clown visual, there are a thousand and two clowns for sale over here on Morph Market. It's pretty amazing. And if you're thinking about producing something, it's kind of nice to see what the competition is and how many snakes you're really competing with when you're selling that particular morph. It's really handy to, to kind of give an overview of all the genes and how many there are available over here on Morph Market. So if you actually click on, uh, if you go back here, you can actually click on Browse Latest, and that is pretty much what I click on. Browse Latest, it'll actually bring you over to here, and it'll show you there are currently 12,869 ball pythons for sale, and you can actually go in here and filter. If you click on Filter, you, can, you have all these different filters. You can... 
you can order all you know basically if you're looking just for a female with specific traits you can look at the ones that are for sale or for sold that have sold and you can just really hone in on exactly what you're looking for it's it's a pretty powerful website and i actually pulled up tortoises on morph market i haven't actually looked at tortoises and it's kind of interesting this is the very last uh, category that they've added here. As a matter of fact, it says at the top, tortoises is a new category on Morph Market. Availability is currently limited. And I've always wondered, hey, where can I buy some uh, Sri Lankan star tortoises? They are pretty awesome. They're a pretty expensive tortoise. They stay pretty small and they lay, you know, a good number of eggs. You can make some pretty good money with the star tortoises. I've seen a lot of people sell them for like four or five hundred dollars a pop. And take a look at this. 500 bucks for some Sri Lankan star tortoises plus probably the shipping on top of that so it's it's interesting you can get a lot of different stuff over here on morph market they have some really impressive tortoises here's one for twelve hundred dollars that I've never seen a pancake tortoise that is really interesting so another one you definitely need to know about this is ballpythons.net and this is this is essentially a form you can jump into and and you can really discuss all of your problems, your issues. You can get a lot of information. They have a lot of different categories and you can pick people's brains or you can just scroll through what's already been posted. And if you look at mine, actually, I actually logged in. I have an old picture here. I haven't actually been on here for a long time. I used to be into this big time. I used to post multiple posts day after day after day. I was just really just sucking up all the information. And then pretty much I took all the information I learned here and I spun it out into my YouTube channel. That's pretty much where I got a lot of my information for YouTube. And if you look at my posts, I actually posted... 2,686 posts over here on ballpythons.net. And the, the funny thing is, is I haven't been over here for a while and it still has all my information, which is kind of interesting. And you can actually go into all the categories and you can uh, actually it has all the different categories you can go into and then if you actually click on a thread you can this is kind of an example of, of how it works someone asks a question uh, my ball python keeps biting me what am I gonna do <laughs> it's, it's just this crazy snake and then you get all these people jumping in you know some of the moderators kind of moderate the conversation which is really nice a lot of these aren't really moderated if you go to the wrong forum and and if and if it gets to where people are getting really nasty, sometimes they'll just, you know, sometimes they'll ban people or delete threads. It's it's really nice that they have some really good moderators over here on ballpythons.net. That's what I really liked about the website. They didn't let it get too out of control, which is really nice. So for the third website, I want to bring you over to kingsnake.com. And I'd say before Morph Market was really big, Kingsnake was probably the number one place that most people went to buy ball pythons. This is probably, uh, I'd say, the number one place. And it, it actually has this classified section. You go to classifieds, you can click on classified ads by category, and you have all these different categories. As a matter of fact, there's some stuff on here that you wouldn't see on Morph Market. Morph Market has a lot of stuff, but if you're looking for specific things like venomous snakes, they don't list them on Morph Market. You have to go over here to kingsnakes.com. And I was always looking at Cobra. So you can actually go down here and look at Venomous. Click on Venomous Snakes right down here. And you can actually come over here and see all the Venomous Snakes. Here's one, the Sulfon Cobras. Over here, I clicked on this one, and it brings me to some Cobras for sale. I can actually, some of these actually have worldwide shippings. I can have some some venomous Cobras shipped to my door. That's pretty amazing. And the thing about venomous is you definitely want to know the rules and the regulations in your local area before you actually get into Cobras or any other venomous. Let me tell you, one wrong mistake, and I would, I would actually highly recommend that you actually train with someone who's experienced with venomous snakes because a lot of people in venomous snakes uh, sometimes they have some accidents I've seen some pretty bad bites and let me tell you you definitely don't want to get bit by a cobra but it's kind of interesting you actually click on it and here it is this is a little cobra you can actually buy over here on kingsnake.com it's it's pretty amazing that you can actually get cobras 
ship to your door. It's pretty crazy for $800 a pair or $900 a pair if you're into breeding cobras. And I'd say you definitely want to look at your rules and regulations and you definitely want proper caging for snakes like this. You definitely don't want your cobras getting out and running down the neighborhood. It's, it'd be kind of crazy. So here is another website. This one is really awesome. This is the world of ball pythons. And if you watch some of my videos, I've been over here quite a bit, kind of kicking around, looking at different stuff. And the interesting thing is on the homepage here, they list some of the new morphs, some of the new combos that have been created. And then the thing that I really like is this morph list right over here. If you click on morph list, it brings you over to this and they actually have 6,805 different single and multiple gene combinations listed over here on the morph list. So if you're looking for something specific, the thing I really like about this is if you go over to, if you go over to morph market and you're just looking for a certain gene, you have to actually, you know, hopefully you'll, you'll find multiple snakes and over here, essentially they'll just have the morph with multiple pictures. And sometimes they'll have 20 pictures or more of the same gene so that you can really Really get an idea of the different variability within that gene is what I really like about it. And the other thing I really like about uh, this, is, so I, essentially you can come over here to not only the morph lift, but the genetic wizard. So if you click on genetic wizard, I use this a lot. This is this is probably the number one place I go for my breeding plans for my ball pythons. I'm pairing some snakes together and I wanna see what the results are. And if you click on the genetic wizard, it comes over here and then you can plug in the male and the female and then hit calculate. So for example, this year I was thinking about breeding my bamboo lesser to a lemon blast which is a pastel pinstripe you hit calculate and you come down here and you see all the different results there's actually eight results and then the thing I really like is is all right I'm making some lessers some bamboos and I'm making for example this kingpin I've never made a kingpin before and let's see what it looks like if you click on kingpin you can come over here and this is the kingpin pastel and what's actually uh, this is actually the kingpin pastel which is different than the kingpin so if you come over here this is the kingpin pastel and it actually has 13 pictures of the morph and you can kind of scroll through and the thing I like to do is is plug in my hypothetical breeding and then look at the offspring and start scrolling through these pictures and it's like do I really want to make this snake is that the the plan that I want for next year is this what I want or do I want to pair something else and then I go no I don't really like any of these combos and then I'll go back and plug in some other male and then you know kind of play with it that way and that really helps me a lot in I'd say this is probably the number Number one tool I use for determining what my offspring are going to look like and if I really like the results of the pairing because you don't want to pair two snakes that look really cool and then end up with a whole clutch that you really don't care for you really want to know what your outcome is going to be and this is the tool so another website I really like is uh, over here this is uh, this, let's see, this is Reptiles. This is uh, <laughs> Reptiles Magazine, sorry. I was like, where am I? <laughs> this is this is Reptiles Magazine. And this is, this is really interesting because this actually lists every single reptile show in the United States. And they try to keep it pretty current. So if you're looking for a reptile show to go to, this is the place to be. This is the, uh, the reptile events calendar on Reptiles Magazine, and this this is going to blow you away. It's, so you probably didn't know this, but every single weekend, there are multiple reptile shows going on somewhere here in the United States. So for example, this one is September 14, September 14, September 14, September 21, September 21, September 21, September 21. So you can see on September 21, you can see there's Rep Today, there is the Show Me Reptile, an exotic show there is repticon baltimore reptile and exotic animal show 
Repticon, Newport, Richie, Reptile. <laughs> you see, there's a lot of these. Some are big and some are small. It's pretty awesome to actually go in here and figure out where all the reptile shows are. And if you just did like, a, if you did like a YouTube channel on reptile shows and just traveled from show to show all the time, you could probably do it full time based on this list, just flying around checking out the reptile shows. That would be pretty awesome. So the, the cool thing is, is uh, this is like the second page. You can definitely tell there's, you know, uh, October 6, October 6, October 6, October 12, 12, 13. <laughs> and so, so you can actually see there is definitely multiple shows. It's the, the first page just wasn't kind of a fluke. It just keeps going on and on. And then this one is still the reptiles, uh, reptilesmagazine.com, but this is uh, uh, the snakes, which is kind of interesting. So they actually have articles over here. In addition to just the reptile show calendar, they actually have articles for all the snake species. So if you're interested in one specific species, you can actually come in here and click on one of these and come over here. For example, I was looking at the cobra snakes of the Congo. <laughs> One of these days I might get a cobra. I don't know if I'm brave enough. I think I'm too scared to actually get a cobra still. I'm not ready for a cobra, but I really would like one at some point. So this actually shows you the, the whole article about uh, uh, the challenges of herping, the Congo, the field work in the Congo and all the different, it's really well written articles on the specific species of snakes over here. Uh, the reptiles, reptilesmagazine.com. It's, it's a pretty cool website. And over here, of course, you need to know about usarc.org. USARC is pretty much the place where we, where we support uh, this organization that fights for a right to keep and breed and display and transport our reptiles. Now, let me tell you, there's a lot of organizations out there that are trying to shut us down and take our, our, our reptiles, our snakes away. And there's always these new rules and regulations coming up. There's a lot of things you can do. You can actually donate some some money or you can actually write some letters uh, they actually kind of walk you through every step of the process how you can be active in defending your rights to keep and breed reptiles it's pretty awesome if you haven't been over here this is like the home page and all the new stuff is at the top so you can see here in Los Angeles they're proposing uh, an animal program permit proposal and a lot of these essentially it's the, they're not actually coming in your house and taking away your reptiles. They are uh, putting regulations in place and a lot of times that are so extreme that it's not even practical to keep reptiles, especially on a scale like I am where you're trying to breed snakes. So I definitely go over here. There's been a lot of, a lot of people really fighting in the background to protect our rights. So here's another interesting website. I've, I kind of occasionally go over here. This is the Reptile Report, and it's, it's kind of interesting to see what is kind of popping up. You can see uh, they're pretty active as far as, as posting stuff. And the, the funny thing is, is essentially what it seems like to me, the Reptile Report is kind of looking all across the entire internet, kind of picking out the little, the really interesting stories from all these different websites and then putting them together in the reptile report. It's kind of like the newspaper of what's going on in the reptile world, which is kind of neat. And it has a lot of really interesting posts. So for example, this one is on the web. This one is from YouTube. So I haven't actually seen any of my YouTube videos over here on the reptile report, which is kind of interesting, but they do, you know, from, from, they pull from YouTube, they pull from the web, they pull from Facebook and it's, it's all over the place it's you know venomous snakes tarantulas colubrids and geckos and all bunch of stuff they, they do ball pythons it's it's kind of everything across the board kind of the most interesting stories that they're finding in the the reptile community on the internet it's pretty interesting so here is Here's the last, uh, pretty much the last website that I wanted to show you. This is another one. I'd say this, 
This is Fauna Classifieds. I say this is probably comparable to Kingsnake.com, and it was pretty much Fauna Classifieds and Kingsnake.com before Morph Market really took off and got big. But there's still a lot of really cool stuff. You can find some stuff on here. Sometimes you can find better deals over here. So if you're looking at a particular snake over on Morph Market, you might want to check out these two websites to see maybe if you can get a better deal or something a little more interesting. And it's 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 kind of interesting for so for example this one this is just the classifieds and they have all different they have snakes and tortoises and geckos and everything which is kind of interesting and over here this is um this is the whole list of all the categories over here on Fauna Classified. So you see they have ball pythons, boas, corn snakes, and sometimes they list them together. Hognose, garter, water, and ribbon snakes. And you can click on those, go a little bit deeper, and then kind of do the search and figure out what you're looking for. So for example, over here, uh, this one is actually uh, snakes for sale. This is this is the hognose garter water and ribbon snakes, which they kind of put together. So sometimes you can actually find some stuff on here that's not on Morph Market. It looks like there are some hognoses and some interesting stuff. It looks like a lot of hognoses over here. So it really depends on what you look. At. The, the cool thing is they show a lot of pictures. And you can, it's uh, you know so a lot of these a lot of these websites that are not morph market you can actually go over here and see stuff that's not on morph market and sometimes you can get lucky and get a good deal. All right, so it is time for the question of the day, and now I'm good asks. Should I pair my ball python male to two females or should I give the male a break and get one male per female? And that is a very good question. As a matter of fact, when I first started out in ball pythons, I was pretty much buying all my snakes in pairs, one male and one female, until I realized later on that you can actually pair one male with up to three females. It's pretty much the standard where people will actually take a male and they'll put it with a female for a week, then give it a week off and put it with another female and kind of rotated through for the whole six months of breeding essentially until the females start ovulating and then I actually came upon this video it's a really old video I'd say it's almost nine years old it's eight or nine years old and I actually watched that video and there was a guy that took a male ball python bred it with 12 females and had some incredible <laughs> success it was pretty amazing and the funny thing is is my very first year i bought a collection of females that were pretty low end some normals and some single jeans some pinstripes and lemon blasts and i actually bought bobby here as one of my high-end snakes i really wanted to make some bamboos because i was sold on the bamboo gene and i actually paired bobby here with 13 females my very first year and 11 of them laid eggs it was pretty amazing. He was extremely productive in that very first year. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.